You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Peter Silva, Technical Marketing Manager with F5, and we're here at the Venetian in Las Vegas at VMworld 2011. I'm here with Michael Koifman, a solutions architect, and we wanted to show you real quickly how easy it is to deploy applications with the IAP templates and Big IP version 11. So what are you going to show us today, Michael? Uh, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy Citrix load balancing and remote access using version 11 in IAP. Excellent. So we have an IAP GUI in version 11. We just click an application service deployment button. I'm going to type in my Zan app. I'm going to select the load balancing template first. As I do that, you're going to see the load balancing template come up and uh, basically guides you through what you want to deploy. So first we're asking you, what do you want to deploy? Do you want to deploy Zen app or Zen desktop? And based upon the choice that you make, you're going to have different sets of questions. Let's say I'm going to be doing Zen app. So uh, I will simply enter the IP address of the virtual server that will load balance. And so we, in version 10, we introduced the application templates. Correct. And just a series of questions. It's almost fill in the blank. They make it very easy for the administrator, right? Exactly, absolutely. And now in version 11, we've allowed you to customize it. So this template is not only widely deployable, but can also be customized to your individual environment if you wanted to extend it. But this is what a five supplies, right? So you answer all these few questions, um, and then uh, you create a pool of your Zan XML brokers, and uh, let's say 22, right? And uh, you say, do you have your XML brokers live in the same pool as the web interface or a separate pool? We're going to say they use the same pool. Now, for the health monitor, we you need to enter my zandemo.f5.com. I'm going to give the user account for the monitor, zandtest, one, two, three, four, five. And the main. That's a password, Michael. It is. No, oh, it's not a real one. <laughs> now we also have to know your URI for what you're monitoring for the web interface server, and then which application do you want to monitor. So let's say I want to do a note that. Okay, and then the last question is how are users going to be accessing it via WAN or LAN? So we can turn on TCP optimizations. We click finish, and everything is created. So. You when, will so when you say everything is created, all the, the all pools, the components, the, right? So you go click on components, and then you see all the components necessary for a five to travel, you know, to deliver this application, the pool, the virtual servers, the monitors, they're all created and they're managed from the holistic view of a single application. So as you can see, in a couple of minutes, you're able to just create a very simple and effective load balance solution for your ZAN environment. The other one is if you wanted to do the same thing for remote access into your Zen environment. Let's say I want to do my Zen app remote. So hit that. Oh, so there's a whole bunch. The whole bunch of templates that we have. Right, we have Exchange, Diameter, uh, Oracle, right, uh, PeopleSoft, Radius, SAP, etc. Uh, but let's just say that you know now you wanted to set up the Zen remote access time, which is leveraging our access policy management product, not just the local traffic manager about the access policy manager for the remote access and secure ICA proxy. Once again, you see this template, it's even shorter. It's asking you, just give me an IP address, let's say that 172, 16, 20, 30, or 23, it's going to be the external where my Citrix user is going to come in for accessing the applications. Uh, and then you've got to specify the certificate that you want to use because obviously it's going to be SSL protected. Once again, very simple question, are you going to be doing this for Zen app or Zen desktop? We're going to say Zen desktop. If you customize the web interface URI, we allow you to change it here, otherwise we're going to assume the defaults. You've got to give us the domain name of your active directory where the Zen servers live. And that's pretty much it. Um, then you enter authentication questions, how to authenticate users, right? So we're going to point you to your 10, 10, 10, 10. This is your web interface server. Uh, we're not going to be doing SSL there, so it's going to automatically go to port 80. And then uh, this is your Active Directory domain. So, you know, ad.mycompany.com. Once again, specify users coming in from when or LAN, hit finished, and now you have a complete solution that provides remote access to your Zen desktop or Zen app environment and load balancing all at the same time. And so, there you have it. The iApp templates in Big IP version 11. So for Michael, I'm Peter for F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.